Now, so many of you want to know that are we really confirmed for not to have RT-PCR test before entering the country? I have an answer for you today. It's me, Taya Sujira. Today, I have two things to tell you. First one is an update about RT-PCR test before entering the country. And another one, there are so many of you want to know where I've been to, why I'm so quiet for YouTube channel. Well, there are many of you write email to me and ask me that, is this really confirmed? Is this for real that you don't have to do RT-PCR test before entering the country within 72 hours? I have to apologize for not for being quiet from this answer just because I'm waiting to hear from the Royal Gazette and I just hear about the news today. So the Royal Gazette already announced, they already announced that when you enter Thailand, anybody, any of you who enter Thailand as part of Test and Go, you only have to do RT-PCR test on the day one and another one which is ATK on the day five. And they don't mention anything about you need to have RT-PCR test within 72, within, within 72 hours before entering. They don't say anything anymore, so it means that the rule of entering Thailand right now, we are not require anything for you guys before coming here. But however, I highly recommend you to check again with the airline you are traveling with. And also just in case you have to change the flight and the connect flight in some other countries, they probably, they probably require you to show the test of COVID-19 by RT-PCR or whatever kind of COVID-19 test. That one you have to recheck again. But for Thailand, the rule, they don't mention anything anymore about before entering the country, you need to show the COVID-19 when you do check-in at the airline from your original country. So this one, they don't mention anything anymore. As them as any of you who are coming here as part of Sandbox. Sandbox means you have to stay in that area for five days. And after five days, you can go anywhere else around the country and if you have a question that are you sure Taya is this a real is this really Royal Gazette are you sure <laughs> yes I'm sure just because of the it show in the uh, Royal Gazette and uh, it's a news everywhere in the same time if you open the website of the Thailand Pass website on the first page of Thailand Pass website already have a new announce as well saying that from the 1st April of 2022, travelers entering Thailand under every entry scheme are not longer required to present a COVID-19 RT-PCR test result upon arrival in Thailand. However, you still have to undergo a COVID-19 RT-PCR test as specified in the entry scheme test on day one for test and go and sandbox or test on day four or five for AQ or alternative quarantine. So this is all already confirmed, but in my opinion, I feel like <laughs> Royal Gazette is so slow because I think about like a person who has to enter Thailand on the 1st of April, if you're so worried, you probably already have done RT-PCR test within 72 hours already because you can't just rely on the Royal Gazette if they would be late or they'd be slow. But however, they just work like right on time like that, which is a little bit annoying, right? But well, for any of you who are traveling later or uh, the day later on the 2nd or the 3rd, if you haven't done RT-PCR test yet for before entering uh, within before entering the country, you don't have to worry anymore because right now Thailand do not require you to have RT-PCR test. I'm very sorry about that. I know many of you still disagree for this kind of policy. Uh, many of you think that um, you would rather uh, have you would rather have RT-PCR test before entering and then no more RT-PCR test when you're right there. I myself also agree with you, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think um, 
I think I guess that's because of the Ministry of Public Health probably concerned about what about during your journey when you arrive here, you probably catch COVID-19 from the plane or at the airport. I have no idea. People have just different opinions. So I just have to respect everybody's um, opinion. That's it all. Anyway, so guys, from April, everything is slowly getting better. And hopefully in May, the the rule is going to be more relaxed and also in june we probably don't need to have thailand pass anymore as i mentioned about this in the previous news about thailand plan in the future but however at the moment the situation of covid 19 in thailand is increased like crazy especially we are waiting for seeing the situation after we finish the thai new year or some grand festival during 13, 14, and 15 April. And after that, we will see how it's going to be like if the case of COVID-19 is not crazy bad. Hopefully the plan that uh, we're going to open the country is going to be much easier. So if you can wait and you want it to come later, maybe in May or maybe in June, especially after July, hopefully it's going to be perfect for you to make a plan to come to Thailand. If the Thai government can make it as planned. So that is all I want to tell you today. Another things I want to tell you is that there are so many of you ask me that, Taya, are you okay? Uh, you write email to me or personal inbox to me about like what's wrong, what is happening, why I'm so quiet. <laughs> Nothing is wrong at all. I'm just still here. My routine life every day is still the same. When I wake up in the morning, I just, of course, I eat. <laughs> I eat first, but uh, most of the time I just keep reading news and look for any updating news to share with you but it seems like once when everything is getting easier it seems like uh, there are not many update news to share with you. In the same time I have some uh, customers from you guys who subscribe my channel starting to come back to travel Thailand and also some of you also uh, request me to be your guide that's why I'm quiet because someday I have to do tour for you who visit Thailand so I have to say thank you so much as well but in the same time I'm right now preparing or and gathering the information about what next content that I wanted to give you information but of course it's still going to be something about learning Thailand as same as the names of my YouTube channel is Thai things it's Thai Things channel is all about information about Thailand, learning Thai culture, travel Thailand just because of my professional is a tourist guide. So if you have any question or you feel like, okay, you're happy that uh, thing is going to change and then my channel is going to focus back to what I want to what I want to do at the beginning. So if you would like to learn anything about Thailand, you're more than welcome to give me a comment and share an opinion with me as well. Anyway, I just wait to hear from you anything you want to know about Thailand, you want to learn about Thailand with me, please let me know. I hope that this video can be useful for you a little bit and if you think it is, please at least give me a thumb up and if you haven't subscribed yet and you, you're interested to learn about Thailand and also you want to know about traveling Thailand, anything like that, please make sure to subscribe. And if you feel like this channel is quite useful channel, you're more than welcome to share this video and channel to your friends as well. And if you feel like you appreciate it with my information, you want to support my channel, you want to buy me a coffee, you can have a look in the description how to buy me a coffee for today. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I'll see you next time very soon. Sawadee ka.